Let me preface this video by saying your feedback is valuable to me. How valuable? So valuable that I went ahead and pulled my last version or my first iteration of this video. The video in question was the selfie by Glidegear. The test portion of it was not executed up to my standards. And after hearing you guys' feedback on how bad it actually was, because it's not, it's a fantastic product. And when you hear about me talking about how fantastic the product is, when you're not getting the results, there could be some uh, discontinuity there or disconnect. So with that said, I went and did some research on how to utilize a stabilizer even better because I am absolutely horrible at using stabilizers. So we're gonna go ahead and jump into the unboxing section that you, most of you may have seen. And then from there, we're gonna do a setup of the Glide Gear Selfie. And then I'll properly do a demonstration of how this performs in the field. Your feedback is so valuable to me that it's allowed me to reflect on my mistakes. And, and again, I'm learning, growing, so if you want to stick with me and through this video and we'll get some proper tests and setup of the Glide Gear Selfie. Thanks again. What's going on everybody? My name is Tomas and this is the Selfie made by Glide Gear. I want to take a moment to thank Glide Gear for sending this out to me for review. And I also want to thank them for their continued support of my channel and what it is that I'm doing here. They make fantastic camera equipment at a very affordable price. Feel free to check out their, their website. It'll be linked in the description of this video. With all that said, Let's go ahead and crack into the box. Right off the bat, you're presented some instructions. If you know anything about stabilizers, you know that they can become cumbersome in the setup and use of them because they're kind of hard to balance. Glide Gear has created this neat little system in which the, the actual stabilizer, they have these graduated numbers on the shaft of it and you set the to the number uh, as according to your device. So here they have popular handsets by Samsung, Apple, HTC, and they also include the GoPro. It's nice that they've created a setup system for this stabilizer. In the box, you're provided the actual stabilizer and carrying case. And Glidegear was kind enough to send me this little prototype attachment that we'll talk about here shortly. And that's all that's included in the box. Glidegear always ships their stuff with the carrying case, which is fantastic. Inside of the carrying case is the stabilizer itself. And within a little pouch within the carrying case, they provide you a cell phone mount, which is a, it has a one quarter inch screw. So it allows you to attach it to the stabilizer. And they also provide you with a quarter inch to quarter inch ball head. And it's a, it's a tiny maneuverable system. So it allows you to set up whatever it is you want on your uh, stabilizer. So that's a neat addition. One thing you'll need to keep in mind when you utilize this is that it has quite a bit of weight to it, so you're gonna to have to compensate for the measurements on the graduated system. With all of that out of the way, let's take a closer look at the stabilizer. It comes with a three axis gimbal, which is really, really smooth, so it's gonna allow you to get some pretty awesome shots. And like I was talking about the graduated system, as you move down, it adjusts for whatever system or phone or GoPro or Polaroid Cube, you're going to utilize so it's a very quick setup and get you up and running so it's very compact you attach your device set the setting and you're ready to rock and roll it's very cool glide gear has been working on this prototype here it's going to be an attachment because this has a quarter inch here and this base is made out of aluminum and they're going to attach probably some steel or some magnetic material to the top of it to preserve the lightweight maneuverability of the system. There's one thing that I may have communicated incorrectly in the unboxing section and I don't want you to give you the misconception that you do not need to utilize the ball head. The ball head is imperative to the, the functionality of the system because of its weight. So it's a counterbalance to the, the bottom balance. It's important that you attach it here. I think I said that uh, you didn't have to attach it, but that's not the case. You have to attach it because it allows you to make proper balancing of your system. So if, if you're gonna utilize the cell phone clamp, you have to attach the ball head first and then the cell phone clamp. So just, just to make that clear, it's very important that you utilize this. The prototype that they allowed me to kind of take a look at is this. Um, like I said in the, the boxing portion, this portion is aluminum and here's the steel plating portion. So you're gonna attach this as well. This, this ball head allows you to make the proper balance because sometimes things need to be a little off balance to make the system balance, if that makes sense or not. Make sure you have your memory card installed in the Polaroid Cube and everything is ready to rock and roll at, the, at this time, at this point, because you're gonna make a balance adjustment. 
the manufacturer provided me a, kind of a short introduction to this, this uh, prototype of a system. Um, the number that it works here is 40 for the Polaroid cube. So I already set it to there. I'm going to make the alignment. I'm going to make a guess there and then I'm going to pick it up. As you can see, it's kind of dipping towards that way. From there, I can just kind of make it go straight up and down. Then it's uh, kind of ready. It looks like it's ready to rock and roll. I'll refine this before I do the, the steps, but the bottom line is that you need to use the ball head with whatever attachment you're utilizing up top. And then follow the instructions in the instruction booklet that you're provided from Glide Gear. You may or may not have to make some adjustments based on uh, if you have a case or even if your device is not listed here. Just keep that in mind. Without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into an actual proper demonstration of how this system can improve stabilization with the Polaroid Q. All right, so here's my demo of the Glide Gear selfie. The one thing that I'll do is I'll do a run through with the actual selfie itself and then I'll do a handheld version of that. So um, with, let's just hop into some testing with that. All right, so here is gonna be the running example and I'm just gonna flip this so we can get into it. Whoa. The good thing about the Polaroid Cube is that you can just remove it. So let's remove it and do a running with the handheld. Here's the running example, just handheld. The difference is, is I can run a little bit faster with this because I'm not trying to balance it. Now I'm just gonna do uh, an example of just walking, but I'm gonna do some weaves here so you can get an example of how it'll perform on a kind of uneven ground because I'm not on the sidewalk or anything. And then I'll do a handheld example for your all's viewing pleasure. Here's the walking example, just handheld. And as you can probably tell, stabilization is non-existent because the Polar Cube does not have optical image stabilization built in. So any kind of help that you can get will probably be good. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this video. If you liked it, please feel free to give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down and let me know in the comment section down below what it is that I can do to improve. That feedback is extremely valuable to me. So I really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my video. Uh, in addition to that, check out my channel if you're new here. And if you like what you've seen or what you've seen on my channel, you're more than welcome to subscribe. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Take care. Fingerprints.